We used to have some hard boards, paddle boards, but go on RV full time and we had to get rid of them because there was no place to store them or bring them and they were too large. So Dan and I, we miss the water so much and we want to go out and everywhere we're going, we're going to be really close to water. So got us some new inflatable stand up paddle boards. So I'm going to open this bad boy up and see how long it takes to set up and be prepared for us to go out in the water. So we chose the inflatable stand-up paddleboard from Boat. This one is the flood model, which is 11 feet long. Inside is the paddle. We'll put that together in a moment. We also have the pump found out it's a two-way pump so not only does it push air when you're pushing down but it also does when you're pulling up and you can do it a one way so that if you want to suck the air out then you can suck the air out to make it even flatter when you go to um, pack it up now here's the hard part because in this box is the big old backpack in which I'm gonna put it on first before I take everything out to see how heavy this backpack is. Bam, there's the backpack. There we go. Did you have any more accessories in the box? Should be some more. Grab that out. Yeah, should be some more cool stuff in there. Right, we have. It says on the front. It's a rack receiver. receiver. That's what it is. Jeez, oh. Then, in here, we have directions. And unlike Dan, I read directions. We've got the um, removable fin. On the paddleboard, there are two permanent fins on the side, and then the hard removable fin that goes in the middle. And more directions you know real oh, there's stickers you guys oh, lots of stickers oh my god if anybody knows me they know I love stickers oh, there's a whole bunch of stickers in here oh yeah all right oh and a koozie look at that a little bit of everything a little swag oh and then a little directions there to install the stuff oh can't wait to put on my stickers Ooh, ooh. Additionally, your emergency kit here, because you never know when accidents happen. The repair kit. You guys hear Maggie? She's playing with the stick and getting all worn out. She keeps is... bumping the camera, so it's not me, it's Maggie, sorry. <laughs> this is the repair kit if you have a little hole. The glue. Um, and then from my understanding what I was told this is the valve stem remover if for some reason valve remover. Valve, the valve. valve remover for some reason you need to take out the valve but I don't know why you would want to do that so that's kind of neat and it's own little like dry container here Oops. got that bam all right so I'm five foot tall this bag is probably going on three and a half feet tall. So that means it's going to take, I don't know, three-fourths of my body height when I go to put it on. Give me a moment. I'm going to try this bad boy. I'll be right back. You completely disappeared behind the bag. Oh, lift with your legs. Oh, is it the backpack? Now it's kind of neat because you've got your little extra. Oops, here it is. Well, that's supposed to be a waist trap. I. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's um. It's behind you. It's just you're not reaching it. It's down by below your butt cheek. Oh, there it is. There you go. So it's supposed to be a waist strap. <laughs> we'll yes. call it a. I don't know a thigh or hip strap for me. Well, you could raise it up on Does your shoulder. Does it shoulders. go up a little higher? You could, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, a little bit. So the a um, lot of it. That strap, but this is what it is. 
it is a good 30 pounds 28 pounds i think they said it was no with the bag and everything it is good over 30 pounds but not too heavy that if we were gonna walk down to say the boat ramp or somewhere i don't think i could walk a mile with this because it's very awkwardly placed on my body but i could walk a good a good clip on it you know it's kind of cool though because apparently this pump goes here in these little straps and in this bag and then that kind of holds it that's really neat yeah i think it, all right what do you um, think fits in there the collapsible paddle i'm sure would fit in here you could also put that's really like, large maybe a beach towel in there sunscreen Something. you could pack uh everything it seems in like in in this one bag i think you're just for the day on the weight yeah because it does but it, it looks will. like pretty intense neoprene bag it feels very tough. Looks like it's got some good stitching on the seams. Right. I like the colors. Color is fair. Presentation is very nice. Presentation is very nice. All right. Get this bad boy open up. All right. Drum roll. Ready? Yeah. Oh. There it is. I like that it opens ah. all the way. Yeah. So then it's easy to shove in there. Yeah. But there's an 11 foot inflatable paddleboard inside this bag oh there's even tie down straps inside the bag so when you roll it and put it in there you oh, can then that? further strap it down so it won't oh. jostle around or move that's cool very cool i do like this uh, strap to hold it all together that is absolutely amazing all right got rid of maggie because she was being super naughty and then swept off our little astro turf so that I can lay this out nice and clean. So, get some room here. Oh. Now, I chose this style because the whole board has this foam on the top from the tip to the tip to tip. From tip to tip. <laughs> like the rv world exactly and so um if we were to take the dogs or anything the dogs are less likely to do any damage um, because of this little squishy foam versus on there so there is the 11 foot board so open that bad boy up and it's ready to be put sucking in there yeah. It's ready to be done. So now, got to get the uh, pump. So the other thing that's cool is this valve is a one-way valve, or all of the air Julie pumped in would be escaping right now. Yeah, when I'm taking a little break, I can wipe off my sweats. All right, I'm at, ooh, 10 and 3 fourths PSI. I'm calling that good. Okay, so to take it off now, I just twist and pop off. So that is actually really hard, like very difficult to like push on. So that's quite impressive. All right. So these are these rack holders. They tip go here and they just slide right in like that. Really easy um, if you choose to do the rack and all the extra accessories. We've got some awesome little bungees that are already on here to put whatever you want underneath here. This is a sliding knot, so. I am so impressed. So if you have something that you want to put on there, you've got your little sliding knot to loop onto there for whatever you might need. But also it loosens those um, bungees. So if the bungees are too loose, then you can just tighten them up that way. Let's call it shock cord. Shock cord, we've got a shock cord. Be all technical and all. I like my words. Well, you actually nailed the <laughs> knot, kind of. Right. Then um, we have some um, clippies here. D rings. Uh, clippies. If you want, there is an optional strap that goes over your shoulder to carry it. If you prefer not to carry it by the center, 
for are the these book. Velcro? Um, well, I was going to tell oh, you. Oh, we're getting to those? Yeah, we're oh, getting I'm to... sorry. My bad. Just wait, because I wanted to say, like you always say, but wait, there's more. I wanted to be able to do that. Like, oh. I've never had a chance well, to I'll do it. Well, I'll edit that out. All right, you're stealing it from me. Okay, I won't okay. steal it. Okay, down here we have some more bungees. Shock. Dang it. We have some more shock cords here. And again, the same slip knot here. Um, the sliding knot so that you can tighten it if you need to tighten it. And Here's your end handle. Um, again, if you wanted to hold on to it, if you needed something to hold on to, to get up. And then here we have your another D-ring. And this D-ring is for anchor. Or if you want to beach it somewhere, then you just tie your um, string here. And then you can beach it so it can still float in the water but not float away. Here we have the paddle. Now I'm going to show you guys a really cool feature. This is the time I get to say, but wait, there's more. Here on the side of this board, you're going to see these little Velcro straps. When you're out there paddle boarding, having a great time, and you're like, you know, I just want to chill for a minute, or in my case, I want to do some headstands or handstands or some crazy tricks or yoga or whatever on it, take my paddle and pop that bad boy on here. While I'm on the board, obviously. And now I've got the straps holding my paddle and now I don't have to worry about it floating away or trying to keep it on here and not losing it. That I think is a really cool feature that it holds my paddle and I don't have to worry about losing it. Perfect. Also if you're carrying your board that's one less thing you gotta have in your hands. Right because it's on You can just here. put the paddle right there on the board and right. then just worry about carrying your board. So very cool. So this is the two permanent um, very hard kind of rubbery plastic fins and then we have the removable fin this is your little leash so you don't lose it I'm gonna put this through I'm gonna put that through and it's oh, very hard this is in this is the fin this is your little um, saber we're gonna call it it's like a little leash for it and you pat that in there and now you're not gonna lose your fin in case of I don't know some crazy something happening yeah. now your fin is stuck in there and it's not gonna come out I'm five foot so if I feel like if I can carry this bad boy anybody over five foot could probably carry this bad boy let's see oh that's easy I could totally walk all the way down the boat ramp which is like a quarter mile just carrying this. If it was a windy day, might look a lot funny trying to do it, but this isn't like very bad. It's actually really easy to carry with this handle here. Where are we going? We're gonna go down on the boat ramp just up here a little bit. We're gonna put this thing in the water and see how well it goes. Oh my gosh, your other hand is free. Did you forget your paddle? Where's your paddle? Oh, no, I didn't. Let me show you. It's right there. Attached by the Velcro straps. Bam. No blowing. Good thing it's not a windy day. I think this would have been all over the place. Julie's in uh, typical Michigan paddle boarding attire, blue jeans, sweatshirt. <laughs> but that's her confidence and how good she is. Because I know that water's cold. So. FYI, you guys have your fin, you always put it in backwards because the water is always deeper. So when I put this down, my fin's not going to drag on the ground. Or break. Or break. Bam. We're going to go. And then off we go. And because you put it in backwards, you're going to spin like that. And then we go off. So guys, I am so excited. This is the first time I get to use my paddle board. Since my surgery, I'm allowed to get in the water. And that's sexy. It's a little sexier over here. Hey guys, just wanted to give you some final thoughts on what I think of these inflatable paddle boards. So if you are a paddle board snob, 
these might not be for you. We had some uh, like 12 to 14 foot racing touring, hard fiberglass, uh, very nice uh, paddle boards that we picked up in Florida. We used them in Florida, brought them up to the Great Lakes. These are not comparable to those, so you gotta understand that. But overall, I am incredibly impressed. You know, I'm a bigger dude. Um, I blow mine up to 15 PSI. It is incredibly rigid. I don't feel any flex. Um, it's very stable. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very impressed for a, an inflatable. You know, I shied away from them for, for many years. But now that we're in, you know, living a full-time RV lifestyle, uh, we wanted to get back on the water, and this was the most economical and practical solution for that. And they're perfect for that. You know, we're not going to do any 18-mile offshore races uh, with these. Um, but for just ease of packing it up and convenience, you, know, you throw it in the back of the truck, get to the beach you want to get to, blow it up and go have fun all day, it's perfect.